hello and welcome to Yoga Fusion Dance. Follow along. We go slow, we go high pace. Follow at your own pace. This is your yoga. And most of all, enjoy. We're going to start off slow. Coming up and coming down. Warming up the toes, the ankles, and coming down. focal point in front of you because backward lunges get a little bit wobbly. Ready? Ha, shake up the legs. Woo! 
Place the hands behind the back of the neck. Thank you. 
little bit of pumping sensation in the knees. Now we're going to go knees straight out towards the right. Ready? Bring some attitude with the hips into it, lifting the chest. Open in the lungs. Nice twist in the body. Now we're really going to bring it in. Bring some head action into it. Get your sexy shoulders going. And those hips press forward. Even the arms a little break in this pose. We're going to bring kicking the butt. Bringing those legs up, kicking the butt.
minutes of high and then going down low. Inhale up. Exhale down. Breathe in up to the toes. Look down the ground for focal point. Out down. Press the hips forward as we come up. Chest up. Breathe in. Lay down. Pick up the speed just a little bit. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. So we're 
really twisting that waistline. And we love twisting our waistline because what happens when we twist our waistline? Belly flap goes by by dolly. Don't you pull up? Yes. <laughs> Don't we? Are we ready? Go. 
go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Facebook, YouTube, take a break if you need to. We have one more minute. We're there. Arms are getting tired. This is good. This means that your arms are building strength. Legs are getting tired. This is good. Your legs are building strength. Muscle burns fat fatter than anything we can do. You want to build that muscle. Drop the arms. Pump it. Pumping action going on, a little flavor. Now we're going to hop the right foot to the left. Ready? Hop right foot to the left. Step back a step. Bend up into a slight back bend. Inhale. And then exhale. We're going to bend forward. Nice and slow. We're going to get rid of that cranky back by holding our elbows here and swinging from side to side. Nice and slow. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Walk the hands forward, downward dog. Walk the dog, let's see those sexy barriers in the air. Nice feet going as we walk the dog. Dig your fingers to the yoga mat to alleviate pressure on the wrist. We're over here for a few beats. And then we're coming down to the mat to build strength in the wrist. As long as it's not a sharp pain, we want you to build strength in your wrist. Ooh, nice fun action going on, everyone. Woo, good job. You can slow it down or keep the beat of music. Again, I'm always going to remind you to honor your body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Drop the knees to the surface. Oh, we love this part. Yes. Rolling over. And as we roll over, we bring the legs forward. Slow down the music here. As we slow down the music, to a forward bend. Forward bend releases it. Let's go. Ooh, that tightness. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let go of my tightness. I don't want it anymore in the body. Drop the chin into the chest forward. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, feel yourself falling forward a little bit more to release that lower lumbar. We can grab the ankles, we can grab the toes. And as you bend forward here with your chin into your chest, close your eyes and feel the spine open up and release the pressure. Up your belly purposely with breath, breathing in, and then slowly let it go and breathe out. You find that your head, the cervical, the top part of your skull, right where the occipital ridge is, the base of the skull, releases a little bit more. Go ahead and relax those legs, those elbows, those arms. And the inhale count is nice and slow. We're breathing in on the count of slow. One, two, three. We're breathing out. Three, two, one. Breathe in, slowly come up, and bring in the left foot. So the left foot is by the right th inner thigh. Place both hands on either side of the right leg or on top of the right leg. 
On top of the right leg is pretty good because what we do is when we inhale, we lift our chest up, and when we exhale, we slowly come down over that right leg, forehead to knee, and we're actually holding our body into place so we feel a deep tug in that left hip area, and that's what we want. Left hip all the way up to that left shoulder. Ooh, that feels good. The importance of breath is so vital when we're in a, a stretch. When you can do a longer inhale, it releases your body of stress and anxiety each time more and more. So breathe in slowly, one, two, three. Fill up the belly with breath. Good. Now slowly let it out. Three, two, one. You find your body relaxing forward over that right leg a little bit more. And again, sometimes in yoga poses, when we first start off yoga, this is a little bit too much. So you can always come up a little bit. But when you stay in some variation of pose, you feel you're helping your mind tell your body that it can do this. It can open up. It can release the tightness and the stress that I have in my body as a result of the tightness and stress that's in your life. Good job, everyone. Slowly come up and breathe in as we come up so we don't get too wobbly headed. Straight out the left leg and bring in the right. Oh, that feels good. Yes. Hands on left shin or framing. And when we slowly inhale, we want to lift the chest up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come down over that left leg, forehead to knee. Relax the foot. Relax that left leg. Your right hand is holding you in place because you're feeling a deep tug. I definitely am in that right side. Slow inhale is your key to releasing your anxiety. You'll find on the exhale, ooh, magical. Drop those shoulders a little bit more. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we're in a belly constricted position, but when we push air into the belly on the inhale, we release the stress in our waistline and our belly on the exhale. Drop that head a little bit more. Feel that foot relax. That's nice. Good. Both legs straight. We're going to walk our dairy ear to the end of the yoga blanket. Because we're slowly going to come down. And as we come down, our arms are going to be forward. And we're going to use our belly as much as we can to straighten and hold, hold, hold. Slowly come down. Ooh, that feels good. We love back positions, don't we? Now, opening up our bridge pose, we're going to really stretch our hips and our gluteus maximus. Hands are down by our side, palms facing down. Stretching our hips up towards the sky and bring those feet in towards the derriere as much as possible so we can get a nice stretch in our top part of our quadriceps. Inhale, lift up, hips towards the sky. Exhale, slowly bring it down. Ooh, we love coming down, don't we? <laughs> Breathe in up. Reach up. Breathe 
without doubt. Breathing up. Stretch it up, open it up, lift that chest up with it too. Exhale, slowly bringing it back down with the breath. And when the back reaches the surface, we relax and let go a little bit. And then we're gonna bring it up one last time, inhale. Stretch the hips, stretch the chest towards the sky. Use the arms to bring the chest up more. Hold the breath here. Slow exhale, bring the body down. Ooh, that's nice. Now we're gonna bring the knees to the chest and rock from side to side because we're gonna give our glutes and our lower lumbar back because they just did a lot of work for us. And we're very happy with our bodies for doing that. And we're gonna straighten our legs up here. Slowly, we're going to bring our arms out to T, up by the shoulders, palms facing up. We're going to keep our legs as straight as possible and bring them slowly all the way down to the left side, to the earth. Oh, let them relax there, even if they separate. Allow your breath to do the work. Close the eyes now. Breathe into that right hip area and that right IT band area, right on the side of your thigh. Slowly release the pressure. Feel the body drop. Ooh, that's pretty good, huh? Let's do that three more times. Breathe in slowly. And breathe out, let go. this last inhale with the eyes closed feel how the pressure of the body on the inhale fills up the shoulder area the rib area and on the exhale feel how the back and the ribs come to the earth the shoulder drops a little bit more the hands relax a little bit more and those legs kind of go Ugh. melt into the earth a little bit more Good. Now we bring the knees into the chest, bending the knees. And then we're going to roll from up, forward, and back. And as we do that, we have to use the motion of our feet coming up and down. Ready? Rock, down, and up. So we got a nice massage going here, and the deeper you come all the way up, you feel it in your shoulders, and that, oh God, that sound feels great. Yeah. Four more. And then we stop here, straighten our legs up, and we drop our legs to the right side. All the way, all the way. There you go. Open the arms up to T. So we have some nice twisty action going here. And the left arm is above the surface. And if it gets too tingy and too edgy there, then we bring that left arm down towards the rib cage. But we want to hold it up here as much as possible and use the breath to drop that arm down. So if you can stand it a little bit longer up there by the shoulder, Allow your breath to open that tight area. Exhale. Breathe in slowly. And breathe out, exhale. Feel the legs dropping, the hips dropping. Breathe in slowly. Belly comes out like Santa Claus. Breathe out. 
Billy Relax. Bending the knees or bringing the knees into the chest one more time. We're wrapping our arms around the knees. Breathe in, inhale. And breathe out, release the arms around the knees. Now, you know how we swing, swing the feet forward and back? We're going to use that motion to come to a seated position. Ready? Come to a seated position. One hand on the heart, one hand on the solar plexus. Drop the shoulders, close the eyes. In mantras, we say them over and over again in our minds. And this one we're going to say out loud one time. So I'd like you to repeat after me a positive affirmation to yourself. I am stronger in my body. I am stronger in my mind. I am stronger in my life. And when we breathe in a big belly breath, inhale, lifting the chest at the same time. And when we breathe out, that energy of those words come into our body, our very essence, our very spirit. And we feel it come over our body. And our shoulders relax a little bit more. Our body feels relaxed. And our heart accepts the words. Namaste. Namaste.